Yo people, what's up? So, I've got something to say, so pay attention. Listen and pay attention. Um, just completed my my routine workout. I do workouts every two days. I jog every two days. That's what I mean. I don't go to the gym. Um, because the, for me, I think it's a waste of time to go. I think going to a gym to pay money to keep to look healthy or to keep fit is like a, it's like to me it's waste. It's a waste of it's like you're wasting money. Um, I, I really feel, and but I, and I don't mean to be rude. But I really feel some people go to the gym just to show up. I lost like 30 kilos on them in six months without ever visiting the gym or something. It's all about what your target is. And um, if you really want to lose weight and keep fit you've got to like take a look at the things you you eat or how, how should I put it re-examine the things you've been eating if you want to lose weight and stay healthy you've got to change the things you've got to change your lifestyle you've got to turn your life around stop eating those things you've been eating up to this very moment um, um, we are dying we are dying people die every day I, 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 I remember when that time, I mean, that time when I was still in Nigeria, when they announced, um, when they announced um, someone's obituary, they always like to use words like untimely dead, untimely, meaning that person wasn't supposed to die that time. <laughs> so if you were not supposed to die but you end up dying means something must have happened something must have killed you i know that we can all die i mean death is inevitable it means i mean we can die at any moment but there are some things you i mean some people die due to some certain kind of illnesses or the the I mean cancer and all those weird stuff, pneumonia, all those stuff, you know, heart attack, cardiac arrest. There are some unpreventable dates. There are dates you can't prevent, but there are dates you can certainly prevent. If not prevent, you can certainly like extend like him like like hold them for a while like like i mean the delay it for a while yeah if you were to die like in two years you can definitely extend that two years to like five ten years sure and um i'm a nigerian was born in nigeria yeah and um, I've seen so many Nigerians, so many young Nigerians die prematurely. I have lost lots of friends. Lots. When I say lots, I mean lots of friends. I've lost like 10 friends, very close, tight friends of mine. In one way or the other, I don't want to go into the details, you know. Some died in a weird way. But at least 
four of my closest friends died of, I mean, heart attack and all those things and cardiac arrest, all those weird things. All those things we didn't understand that time. Yeah. The things we eat, the things we eat. No, 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 no. Let me put it this way because I don't want to sound out of touch and I don't want to offend anybody. But the things we eat or the things we are we are eating, make a talk I'm like a Niger person. The things where we they chop, the things where we they chop, they they contribute, they follow killers. Make a nyanda for you. The things we're eating sometimes causes the our uh, our uh, I mean causes problems in our guts. Let me put it this way. Na name one so-called name one quote unquote big man in Nigeria. We are no get pot belly. <laughs> name one quote unquote biki man or oh, gah pata pata for pot for Niger who has no pot belly, heavy tummy, heavy belly. That's what I mean. Now the things where we the chop, the things we eat, the fufu, the ba, the gari, the apu, the pounded yam, the kusi soup, the fish, the chicken, the hog, the beef, the soya, every, the beer with everything. Our lifestyle in, the, the, I mean, the, the way we live, the, the way we eat, what we eat in Nigeria is what is fucking killing us, pardon my language. I've come to realize now that we as black people, when I say black people, I mean Africans. We as Africans, we are plant based eaters. We, we, or we, we, ne, let me use we. We were supposed to eat plants. But what are we eating now? <laughs> what are we eating? We are eating fufu. We turn gari into starch. Fufu is starch, pure starch. Gari, we turn fufu, uh, uh, cassava into fufu. Turn cassava into starch. What is yam? Yam is starch. Yam is 99% starch, carbohydrate, pure starch. And what? And if you should know what starch does to your body, too much starch. I mean, it's good. A little starch is good. A little carbohydrate every day is okay. But when it's too much, it gets some things where we the talk for Niger. Sorry, I'm a stammerer. He gave some things where we the yarn for Niger. We the talk say too much of everything. Nawahala. We we eat a kusi. Every evening we'll go uh, go to the Abuki stand, order soya, like a kilo of soya, lean meat with tomato, pepper, and then wash it down with a bottle, two, three bottles of beer. I'm saying this because, because I used to do exactly the same thing. I mean, when I was still like, yeah, living that life, I used to do exactly the same thing we don't work out we don't burn them energies shit did i just say energies 
we don't burn that energy all that energy all that carbohydrate all that gallery everything all that gallery all the all we don't bond it a typical quote unquote big man in nigeria that doesn't work out sits in his car every morning eat breakfast and if you check the breakfast table if, you know, if you check what's on the breakfast table There is chicken, fried chicken, <laughs> sometimes on the breakfast table. There is uh, th There are eggs, sometimes fried eggs or boiled eggs, white bread, B bacon. <laughs> is that what that thing is called? Bacon, the lean, very tiny little meat and stuff. Bacon, then cheese, and then there is cocoa. Cocoa sometimes, you drink cocoa, then there is coffee and sugar in jam the thing they did that thing they put on bread just to make it like, like you know and then you'll be like if you should know what those things what they do inside your body what they do to your body you'll be like damn For those of us living outside the continent, for those of us living, for those of us, for those of, for you, 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 who is in America, you, the African living in America, living in Europe, living in wherever you, wherever you are. If when you were in Africa, you were skinny, tiny feet healthy you were okay if when you were in africa you could see your veins but after getting to your destination to your new home to wherever you live now after getting to your new destination after like a month or a month or two or three or after a year you started looking fresh you started gaining weight. Your body starts uh, turns a uh, um, light brown, and uh, and uh, see. Don't let your mind deceive you into thinking that you are doing great. You know, at that, 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 that time we could say change of environment. Bullshit. Don't let your mind fool you into thinking that it, it's change of environment. That you're healthy because you live in Europe, because you live in America, because you live in Canada. Don't don't allow your mind to fool you into believing that bullshit. If you were skinny, tiny, thin, and good looking in Africa, but now you're fat and all that, you're fat and oily, your face is blown up and like you look like it doesn't mean you're healthy. It means there is something you're not doing right. It means you're not living right. It means you're tweaking. It means your life is fucked up. It means you need help. It means you're not eating right. It means the things that it, it means you need a doctor. You should you should change your lifestyle. Stop eating the things you're eating. You don't need to go to to the gym to stay fit, to keep fit, to stay healthy. No. We have parks all around us. You have, I mean, we have parks everywhere. We have recreational parks everywhere. Even in, the, in even uh, in some cities, right in the middle of the city, you can always go jogging. Just always go for a walk. Park your car. Take your bicycle, use your bicycle for a moment, for real. Walk for a minute, use your bike for a minute. Pack your car, pack your bike, walk. It's the reason why you have legs.
try to cut down on meat, meat products, chicken and all those stuff. Try to cut down on the amount of sugar you consume. Stop drinking, stop smoking. There is no moderate there is no moderation to to drinking. There is no did I just say moderation? <laughs> there is no moderate way to drink. There is no moderate way to smoke. Stop smoking. Stop drinking. There is no fun in doing those things. There is no fun in drinking. No fun in smoking. Doesn't make you look cool. No, it's fucking up your health. It's fucking up your lungs. Fucking your body up. Try to drink as much fluid as you can in a day. Eat as much fruits as you yeah, as you can. But seasonal fruits, seasonal fruits. I mean, don't eat apple all day long or all year long. No, fruits are seasonal because some of them fruits contain lots of sugar, like ripe banana. These are seasonal fruits, apple, all those things. Because in Africa, they, they, the tree don't gel fruit every or all year round. They have time. There is time for everything. So don't eat them continuously because then sugar is sugar. Sugar and sugar. And they don't mean where you get that. Waiting there to yarn again. Subscribe to this channel. <coughs> See, I am um, I six seven months ago. I couldn't sleep on my own bed because I always wake up in the morning with pains, back pains all over my body because I was too damn heavy for my own bed. But now, I'm sleeping on my bed every night. I wake up feeling good. I weigh 75 kilos now. I used to weigh over 100. I used to eat shit. To be honest, I used to eat shit. Shit, when I say shit, I mean shit. This is Infinite TV from Infinite Universes. Look, this shit is delicious. A, a movie about a guy eating shit. I used to drink, could finish a bottle of Hennessy in a week. That was alcohol abuse. I used to drive. I used to drive, always driving, always driving. If I, if, if I want to go buy something like a hundred meters from my home, I will sit, sit in my car and drive a hundred meters to my door. And I'm like, what? I had only one position I could go with my woman, with my with my lady. But now we can go on for an hour. We can go on for hours. <laughs> go for a walk, for real. Stop eating them bullshit. Stop eating fufu, Gary. These are occasional food. These are occasional food. Rice and stew, occasional food. But we're eating them now every single day. Occasional food, I mean, we were not supposed to be eating them every day. We were supposed to eat them on occasion. Remember that time growing up, we used to eat rice and stew only on Christmas. Yeah. Or if there is an occasion, like a burial ceremony, we'll eat rice and You know, we were so dumb because the same rice and stew might have killed the person who, <coughs> the person who was being buried. But 
at the burial ceremony they will serve us the exact food that, that kills the person so food remember that movie we're gonna pause this for the benefit of all y'all who never saw Soul Food. Soul Food is a movie about a big, humongous black grandmother, aptly named Big Mama. Big Mama demonstrates her love by feeding herself and her offspring enormous amounts of pig lard. Then, get this, Big Mama's arteries are so clogged, they gotta amputate her arm. It was her leg! Right, okay, whatever, leg. Then, she dies of a heart attack. <laughs> Or another stroke, or something. God called her home. And what does the family do after she dies? They get together for a Sunday dinner and eat the same food that just killed Big Mom. The same food! They didn't learn a lesson. Nobody went on a diet, and that's the end of the movie. Occasional food. Rice, beans, plantain, yam, and all. Occasional. We eat, you know what I mean? Not, you know, don't eat them every day. For real. But now... Coca-Cola Coke is available everywhere. Coke is available and cheap everywhere. Beer is available. Where I live, a bottle there are bottles of beer that sells for cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 40, 80 cents. Hennessy is cheap. I tell you. Just be wise. You've got to be wise, man. They make egg. I mean, they've, they've made. I mean, everything is now cheap surplus. You can buy anything, meat. We used to eat meat like once a year. But now, you can walk into a supermarket and get yourself like 20 kilos of beef for 10 euros. For 10 dollars. For 10 euros. You can get yourself a crate of beer for 7 euros. You can get yourself a bottle of Hennessy for 29 euros. You can get yourself a carton of Coca-Cola, Fanta in, and Sprite in plastic bottles for like 10 euros. There are biscuits and chocolates being sold everywhere. Being sold everywhere at every corner for cheap. Kids and kids are, I mean, kids are eating these things and getting fat of every week. I mean, it's fucked up. It's messed up, man. It's messed up. Like, share, and subscribe to Crack House Nutritional Channel. Thing you won't do. <laughs> nothing do you, my people. No shakings. Nothing happen. Nothing they happen. We wanna stay safe. They wear your mask. Eh? God bless my people for Niger. God bless Niger. God bless Dutchland and God bless everybody. Yeah. I hope say this corona thing will just disappear. Make people make life go back to what it used to be. You know. So, peace and out. Glenn, this is a court order. It says you can't eat shit anymore. All right, Jerry, when you're right, you're right. Now I'm hooked.